I am Ra. We greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Before we initiate this working we would wish to correct an error which we have found in previous material. That archetype 5 which you have called the Hierophant is the significator of the mind complex. This instrument is prey to sudden flares towards the distortion known as pain. We are aware of your conscientious attempts to aid the instrument but know of no other modality available to the support group other than the provision of water therapy upon the erect spinal portion of the physical body complex, which we have previously mentioned. This instrument's distortions of body do not ever rule out, shall we say, such flares during these periods of increased distortion of the body complex. Our contact may become momentarily garbled. Therefore, we request that any information which seems garbled be questioned as we wish this contact to remain as undistorted as the limitations of language, mentality and sensibility allow. We communicate now. Question 80.1 Questioner, thank you. Could you please give me the condition of the instrument? Answer, I am Ra. This instrument is experiencing mild fluctuations of the physical energy complex which are causing sudden changes from physical energy deficit to some slight physical energy. This is due to many, what you may call, prayers and affirmations offered to and by the instrument offset by continual greetings whenever it is feasible by the fifth density entity of whom you are aware. In other respects, the instrument is in the previously stated condition. Question 80.2 Questioner, I had to leave the room for a forgotten item after we performed the banishing ritual. Did this have a deleterious effect on the ritual of the working? Answer, I am Ra. Were it the only working the lapse would have been critical. There is enough residual energy of a protective nature in this place of working that this lapse, though quite unrecommended, does not represent a threat to the protection which the ritual of which you spoke offers. Question 80.3 Questioner. Has our fifth density visitor been less able to affect the instrument during our more recent workings? Answer, I am Ra. We shall answer in two parts. Firstly, during the workings themselves the entity has been baited to a great extent. Secondly, in the general experiential circumstances of your space-time experience this fifth density entity is able to greet this entity with the same effectiveness upon the physical body complex as always since the inception of its contact with your group. This is due to the several physical complex distortions of the instrument. However, the instrument has become more mentally and spiritually able to greet this entity with love thereby reducing the element of fear which is an element the entity counts as a great weapon in the attempt to cause cessation, in any degree, of the raw contact. Question 80.4 Questioner, what is the reason for the fact that the entity is able to act through physical distortions that are already present as opposed to being unable to act upon an entity who has no physical distortion at all? Answer, I am Ra. The key to this query is the term, distortion. Any distortion, be it physical, mental, or spiritual in complex nature, may be accentuated by the suggestion of one able to work magically, that is, to cause changes in consciousness. This entity has many physical distortions. Each in the group has various mental distortions. Their nature varies. The less balanced the distortion by self-knowledge, the more adeptly the entity may accentuate such a distortion in order to mitigate against the smooth functioning and harmony of the group. Question 80.5 Questioner, as Ra well knows, the information that we accumulate here will be illuminating to a very minor percentage of those who populate this planet simply because there are very few people who can understand it. However, it seems that our fifth density visitor is, shall we say, dead set against this communication. Can you tell me why this is so important to him since it is of such a limited effect, I would guess, upon the harvest of this planet? Answer, I am Ra. Purity does not end with the harvest of third density. The fidelity of Ra towards the attempt to remove distortions is total. This constitutes an acceptance of responsibility for service to others which is of relative purity. The instrument through which we speak and its support group have a similar fidelity and, disregarding any inconvenience to self, desire to serve others. Due to the nature of the group the queries made to us by the group have lead rapidly into somewhat abstruse regions of commentary. 
this content does not mitigate against the underlying purity of the contact. Such purity is as a light. Such an intensity of light attracts attention. Question 80.6 Questioner, what would our fifth density visitor hope to gain for himself if he were to be successful in eliminating this contact? Answer, I am Ra. As we have previously stated, the entity hopes to gain a portion of that light, that is, the mind, body, spirit complex of the instrument. Barring this, the entity intends to put out the light. Question 80.7 Questioner, I understand this up to a point and that point is if the entity were successful in either of these attempts of what value would this be to him? Would it increase his ability? Would it increase his polarity? By what mechanism would it do whatever it does? Answer, I am Ra. Having attempted, for some of your space-time with no long-lasting result, to do these things the entity may be asking this question of itself. The gain for triumph is an increase in negative polarity to the entity in that it has removed a source of radiance and, thereby, offered to this space-time the opportunity of darkness where there once was light. In the event that it succeeded in enslaving the mind, body, spirit complex of the instrument it would have enslaved a fairly powerful entity, thus adding to its power. Question 80.8 Questioner, I am sorry for my lack of penetration of these mechanisms and I apologize for some rather stupid questions but I think we have here a point that is somewhat central to what we are presently attempting to understand. Some of my next questions may be almost unacceptably stupid but I will attempt to try to understand what this power that our visitor seeks is and how he uses it. It seems to me that this is central to the mind and its evolution. As our visitor increases his power through these works, what is the power that he increases? Can you describe it? Answer, I am Ra. The power of which you speak is a spiritual power. The powers of the mind, as such, do not encompass such works as these. You may, with some fruitfulness, consider the possibilities of moonlight. You are aware that we have described the matrix of the spirit as a night. The moonlight, then, offers either a true picture seen in shadow or chimera and falsity. The power of falsity is deep as is the power to discern truth from shadow. The shadow of hidden things is an infinite depth in which is stored the power of the one infinite creator. The adept, then, is working with the power of hidden things illuminated by that which can be false or true. To embrace falsity, to know it and to seek it and to use it gives a power that is most great. This is the nature of the power of your visitor and may shed some light upon the power of one who seeks in order to serve others as well, for the missteps in the night are oh, so easy. Question 80.9. Questioner, are you saying, then, that this power is of the spirit and not of the mind or of the body? Answer, I am Ra. The work of the adept is based upon previous work with the mind and the body, else work with the spirit would not be possible on a dependable basis. With this comment we may assert the correctness of your assumption.